Do you want a great and fun project to do for Valentine's Day for your kids' class or your coworkers? Or how about a great digital download product that you can sell? This week, I'm going to show you how you can make simple, quick and easy Valentine's cards and give you a link to the layout template that I use. So let's jump right into it. For this Canva project, I'm starting with an 8.5 by 11 inch artboard. I've created two templates and you'll find a link for those in the description below. The first one has eight smaller cards and then the second one is a little larger with four cards. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to work with the four card template, but the eight card template will work the same way. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to pick a square and I'm going to move it to this area of the first card. And I'm going to size it to this exact space. I'm going to send backwards. Then I will duplicate that square and I'll pull it over to this side. It'll come over just a smidge. There we go. So I'm going to change the color of this card. And make it a pretty purple. And we're going to send it backwards. See the white gap there? Need to, I need to resize it and move it around a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to come back and control D to duplicate the square again. I'm going to pull it down to the third space, line it up and change the color. We'll make this one a cream color. We'll send it backwards. And then this one, I'm just going to leave white for now. Once I get my graphics added, I may change my mind. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my graph and I'm going to start with this little teddy bear I'm going to add him there, the little heart shaped cloud, and send it backwards. And so now once I get this on here for this pink, I kind of want to change the color. So I'm going to select the color button. I'm going to go to the custom color button. Select the eyedropper and I'm going to come over and I'm going to pick this dark color. And that's still a little too dark, so change it up a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to add the balloon, shrink it down, and I'm going to pull it over to the corner. Give it a little tilt. Now I'll I want to add some text. I'm going to add a text box. And then we'll change the font. And I know I'm going to shrink it down a little bit. So pull it up here. It'll fit right in there. And then I want this to be super light. That's not going to work. Make it white. It can really be seen. And just adjust your graphics as needed. And now you have the front of four Valentine's cards. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. And what you can do for the back is use the same template and you can add graphics here as well. And add your text. 
and you can leave it whatever font you want. Highlight all of this, go to position, tidy up, get everything spaced out accurately, and then group it, control D, and basically pull it over to the next one, control D, until you have each of the squares filled. And now you have the back of your Valentine's cards. So what you'll do is when you print these, you'll download each sheet and you'll print this first side. And once they're all printed, you put them back in the printer and make sure to right side up. You want to make sure that you know they're both going the same direction and print this on the back. In order to cut them out, use your paper cutter or scissors and cut along the dark line. And that way they're all the same size. Voila! You have Valentine's cards. You can do enough for a whole class, your coworkers, or you can take these and make them into a digital download product. Just remember, if you are going to sell them, to use your own graphics so you don't run into any issues with copywriting. You can sell them like this as a PDF or a JPEG file, or you could make them into a template and sell the template link, as long as it links back to Canva. If you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any tutorials. If you're brand new to using Canva, I'll have a link in the description for my free Getting Started with Canva, the basics course to walk you through all the basic fundamentals of Canva. And be sure to be on the lookout for my upcoming DIY planner blueprint course that will be perfect if you're wanting to start your planner business for 2023. And of course, I'll leave the link in the description for the free 30 day trial of Canva Pro which I highly recommend if you don't already have it. You'll also find a link to my 223 Canva Elements Keywords ebook to help you find some amazing hidden element gems. And if you want to use amazing graphics like the ones that I used in this tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description for my go-to resource, Creative Fabrica. I cannot recommend them enough. They're super reasonable prices and they have a phenomenal yearly subscription price. So be sure to check them out and I'll be back with another tutorial. And until then, make it a wonderful week and enjoy your Canva. Mm -hmm.